Hey everybody, this is another episode of Nostalgia Rewind. I'm Chris. I'm West. And today we're watching Babe. Babe. Uh, Piggy Pig Babe. Yep, the the only babe. No, I'm just kidding. There's other babe movies. So I guess, yeah, you, you need to specify. <laughs> Whatever. So Babe, 1995, and the synopsis is Babe, a pig raised by sheepdogs, learns to herd sheep with a little help from Farmer Hoggett. That, that, that's by somebody else. I want the, okay, nope, that's, I guess that's just, yeah, that's what somebody wrote in. That's so there's no official the synopsis on the IMDb? Or? No, they're all from people. That's funny. I mean, I guess th- it, it just goes to show you this movie's probably not that complicated. It's not. Um, it's oh, and cool. of course, uh, spoilers ahead. Spoilers ahead. Uh, so did you, did you watch Babe a lot growing up? I watched it, yes. Yes. I, I, I vaguely, like... Sometimes I feel like I get my wires crossed with Babe and Charlotte's, Charlotte's Web. Web. Yes. And I know one's animated and one's in real life. There's a live action Charlotte's Web. And vice versa too, right? Like a cartoon. A cartoon Babe? I mean, we should, maybe not. No. But so, <laughs> I don't so think so. I do remember some of it. Like, yeah, it, it, there's a pig in it. There's a, there's, <laughs> there's, a, a pig. there's a farmer. You know, the more I talk about it, the more generic it just sounds like. Yeah, he's on a farm and he has adventures. Or an adventure. You don't remember how it's like the the transition scenes are like like the little mice and they're telling a story? No. Oh, okay. Well Not it's like bit. it's it's like a storybook kind of. Oh and they I, if I remember correctly, they I think they may kinda of like sing songy yeah. what's going on next. I may be making that part up. But uh but yeah, I've, I'm pretty sure the transitions are like a storybook looking like this is chapter Babe and then <laughs> And then, yeah, I just all, all I can think about, of course, is Babe. Um, and the ending where he says, like, that'll do, Pig. I don't know if that's in the ending, but <laughs> yeah, the farmer, that's uh, my family's favorite line. What's the actor for the farmer? I know we know him. Um, do, 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 James Carm- Cromwell? James, Mr. James Cromwell. Let's see yeah, what he's yeah, been yeah. in. Tons of things. Green Mile. Babe. Oh, Big Hero 6. Jurassic World. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, I should have went through the, the actors. All right, going through the actors. Let's go through. Let's see. So, oh, Hugo Weaving's in this. Okay, sorry. We have Christine Cavanaugh, Miriam Mar- Margoyles, uh, Danny Mann, Hugo Weaving, Miriam Flynn, Russie Taylor, Evelyn Crape. I like I don't know any of these people. Like I'm sure I do, but I don't know them by by name. Me neither. Um so So there's so people there's in this people. movie. <laughs> there's people in this movie. Uh so that's all that you really remember? There's a pig in the line that'll do pig. That'll do. That'll do pig. Um does he go to the city at all? That's the second one. That's the second one. So I know. Which I think we should watch that <laughs> one too. So I know of the his other adventure <laughs> where he goes into the city. But wow. even then, I if you would have asked me, I would say yes. I have watched Babe and I know what it's about. But I feel but like when it's gonna I come to back look, to you as we're watching it. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be like, oh, of yeah. course, and the dog. Yeah. And there's the spider. Wait. Nope, that's Charlotte's way. Yeah. But there is a dog, and she's kind of like the mother figure to Babe. I think Babe even calls her mom, because Babe doesn't have a mom. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and then the sheep are mean. Like, oh, he wants to be a sheep dog. Yeah, like, that's what the description just said. But yeah, he trains with, because he thinks his mom, or he accepts her as his mom, and so he wants to be a sheep dog. So, well, sheeps are real mean to him. Uh, I think this movie, even though I can barely recall it, I think this movie's going to hold up just fine. Oh, 100%. This is probably going to be, be so wholesome. Like, super wholesome. Yeah. Wholesome to the max. Yeah. Like, what did I... Oh, yeah, when I think about it, I imagine... I mean, I could be wrong because I haven't seen Babe in, in such a long time, but the way that I reminisce and feel about Babe, it's like the it's the same that I feel like towards Paddington. Like, it's just this perfect little oh, yeah. wholesome... It's like a little slice of feel heaven. Feel good. Yeah. Yeah, because Paddington is perfect, and everybody who thinks that otherwise is wrong. You're wrong. You heard it here. And Bay's perfect, too. <laughs> <laughs> Pigs and bears. There's a bears. Paddington's a bear, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought you were going just straight uh, back I guess to I was going through like movies that are like really wholesome, really cute. 
probably like just Babe and uh, Paddington. <laughs> Curious George. No, no. But yeah, never mind. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, this movie, yeah, one hundred percent, I think is going to hold up. I would be so disappointed and just devastated if it what if it didn't. Yeah, it's like, just got to be a feel good movie. Like some sort of like bigoted. <laughs> big response no uh yeah yeah it's gonna be good it's gonna be fun it's gonna be cute it's gonna be wholesome it's like you said it's gonna be a little slice of heaven a little slice it's of just little perfect. joy yeah and you know you know and it's universal picture so i mean what does that mean i don't know <laughs> do with that what you will uh yeah but i think the people need to know they uh, yes people need to know uh so yeah i say we uh we get we get watching this pig. All right. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we're done. That's not the in between music. Oh. All right. So we have just finished, babe. Uh, and before we go into anything, can we just talk about that tuft of hair he has on his head? <laughs> So, Babe, if you don't remember, basically has the toupee on. Yeah. Right? Like a little mini toupee. Yeah. It kind of goes down towards his eyes. He has hair. He has a head of hair. A head of hair. We looked it up, right? To see if pigs maybe have tuft, tufts of hair. Yeah. And there is a breed of pig that does, but it's more like a warthog looking type of pig. Not not whatever type of pig Babe was. Um, so, I guess he really had to make his character be di- a little bit more distinguished than just a pink pig. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of giving him a bandana or yeah. like a collar. They gave him a... Tiny toupee. A tiny toupee. It's very cute. Yeah. So that's it's something interesting <laughs> to, to make note of. Yeah. Uh, overall, the, uh, the, so the movie, I think, holds up. It's wholesome, like we said. Yeah. Hope, wholesome as fun. fun. Like, it was super good. The main character, Hoggart, or the bosses, as the animals call them, uh, they're just nice people. Like, they're not, there was nothing bad about any of them. No, no, no. They're just farm owners. They're just farm just owners. Doing what you do on a farm. Doing, doing a farm. Feeling good. It's inter- uh, What's funny also is I feel like in the beginning when they show the mama pig get taken away by the slaughterhouse people, the butchers, it, yeah. it had a bit of a Nazi vibe, right? Like the butcher people came, they looked like they were trying to make them, I think they were wearing like black trench coats, like make them like Nazi-esque. Were they? Maybe it was just me. I didn't notice that. So maybe we'll, we'll check that, but check that out. Uh, that, that whole part, though, was so much more sad than I remember. Or maybe I thought it was that sad as a child. I'm sure I had to have, like... It's they sad. take away the mom from these poor little piglets. And there's a lot of slow zooms. There's a lot of, look at this yeah. sad animal. Yeah, look like at when when they take the puppies away from from the, the mom sheepdog. She is, the, she's just sad, obviously. She had her kids taken away from her. Even though she knew this was going to happen, but still tough. And Definitely. And they did multiple slow zooms onto her face. And it was just so sad. She just had like these sad puppy eyes and... And the slow zoom with the music, like, <laughs> yeah, they was, knew what they were doing. <laughs> like, the formula's been strong for so long. Like, you know how, like, in uh, the formula of, like, throw in a real, real sad scene in the beginning and then show your kids' movie. That's what. But I feel like there's a lot of, like, sad things that happen in here. Or at least just unsettling type things. Like, when, when Babe walks into the slaughter area and... And it like all kind of, I don't think he, he caught on 100%, but he knew that there was like a vibe there. Yeah. And it was, it's unsettling. He saw the butcher's knife. Yeah, yeah. It was scary. And then, yeah, the, the mom and the, uh, the yeah, the, the mother pig being taken in the beginning, that was sad. It's super the sad. The puppies being taken away. That Super was also sad. sad. The sheep dying? Ma died. Yeah. Ma fucking died. They show her like sad. neck cut or whatever yeah. from the wolves. Uh, babe gets blamed for that and almost dies. Terrifying moment. He obviously does not because he's the star of the show. But there's potential. Well, also, I feel like there's a, a couple other like sad. Oh, when uh, the other sheepdog is like, you can't do that pig because you're just a pig and you'll never be anything but a pig. Oh, yeah, the way they treat sheep is like really ridiculous. Like, anytime the dog's been seen the sheep, it o- it's always like, yeah, and this happened, and the stupid sheep, and uh, blah, 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 <laughs> a stupid moron sheep. Yeah, and they're also, yeah, they're mean to Babe, too. 
because he's just a pig. Even they call pigs... him they call him stupid too, and then she and then of course Babe is like, no, I'm not. I'm smart. Pigs can be just uh, as smart or smarter than dogs. So. Yeah. Oh, and then when Babe the 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 moment when you know the cat tells him how that's what that pigs are for eating, and then when he realizes when it clicked that his mom when Babe connects the dot to that his mom and his brothers and sisters were eaten like he's, that's yeah. sad too. And he's even like. And the boss, too, you know, eats pigs. It's like the boss, too. Yeah, it's super f***ing sad. Like, that, like, it's gotta have shattered his whole, his whole yeah, I think universe. Yeah, I think that's what brings into question a lot of things when they personify animals in these type of movies. Or do these movies, like, yeah, they're fun. And this movie was fun and it's tight-knit, but it, it just raises so many questions about that. <laughs> well, yeah, but... If you're a child watching this, you're not thinking about that. I never thought about any of those things. I mean, neither did I. But I, you know, I also, yeah, exactly. I don't think about the the cow's face when I eat a burger. But you also don't eat burgers. Veggie burgers. (laughs) I just still love burgers. Oh, yeah. Anyway, um, so I didn't know the whole storyline was basically he can, he politely talks to the sheep instead of yelling and, uh, like, condescending the sheep to sheep herd them. Yeah. And then there's a competition, and he wins just by asking uh, the sheep to do the task, and then they do it, and then he wins, and the uh, Hoggart, the farmer, he just stands right in the middle. Because he knew he was going to win. He knew he was going to win, and it was just so crazy that, like, the... That means, like, this man became a legend. And this whole town just saw a pig literally communicate with sheep and get the sheep to do what what they wanted. Yeah. So calmly, too. Because since he communicates with them very nicely and just asks them to do whatever it is that he wants them to do, you know. It's not like when the dogs are are hurting the sheep and they're running around and being aggressive. So Hey, blockhead, stupid (laughs) sheep! You're so stupid! Move to the left, you stupid sheep! And then with oh. Babe, they just walk in a row all calmly. <laughs> and uh, it's all nice, yeah. It's and then it, in this town, it's so small and his life is at the point that it is. That like when his wife finds out that he may be or is embarrassing himself with the pig in the dog show. She's, she's in tears. She cries, yeah. She's crying. Like, like her like life. Like it was the end of the world. Like when's the last time you cried where you were like doing that like... <laughs> <laughs> hyperventilating. The, the hyperventilating that hyperventilating noise now that's what she was going through just watching him be at a dog show with the pig <laughs> yeah and it really wasn't that serious even if he did make a fool of himself like who cares yeah and, and who cares in the sense, i mean maybe because it's a small town and it's like he's a laughing stock but they i mean sure but like would that have affected what he does on his farm and what they do for a living yeah yeah, yeah exactly and that's her husband, you know, she should be like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, she should have been supportive no matter what. That was a real kind of dick move on her part. Yeah. I would have supported you. I swear, honey, I can train Pazizi to go through. <laughs> no one can train that cat to do anything. Uh, what else? Uh, I thought it was hilarious, even though, <laughs> and we talked about this while we were watching the movie, even though he technically works from home, the boss, the master, whatever, he, since the farm is quite large, and when he goes out to uh, take care of the sheep and stuff, he packs a lunch because he's just out there all day so he, he technically works from home but he still packs a lunch to go to work and <laughs> it's adorable it is I, I completely understand why you don't have to explain it to me but it's just it's funny <laughs> it'd be like you know one of I mean we don't go anywhere so never mind it's not the same but it's funny it is funny it is funny <laughs> it's like if you had a giant mansion and you go and work on one side of it and you bring a lunch bring a lunch with you cause there's only one kitchen in this giant mansion I don't know uh, let's get the trivia. Oh yeah, that's all we have to say about Babe. Oh, I mean, I don't have much else to say. I don't the have m- anything else. Oh, did you want to? <laughs> do you want to? You're over here like, oh. You don't know. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so the the pig farmers were in black trench coats, but it looked like it was more of like a slaughtering uniform. I mean, yeah, I guess I can't say what a slaughtering uniform consists of so yeah I, I can see that well i mean it looked like it was it wasn't like a typical trench coat it looked like it was more like a non-absorbent material oh like a pl- more plastic yeah yeah so that's the only reason i would think that it was like a slaughtering or maybe just to be around the pigs in general because sure it's gross everywhere pigs are gross 
They are pigs. Yeah. Oh, and then the duck that wanted to be a rooster? Fernandad. Was it? Was his name Fernandad? I think I read that in the captions, yes. Oh, okay. Not that it matters. Yeah. They never say his name. I think the weirdest part of this movie is when Rex, the, the male sheepdog, gets in a fight with the female sheepdog. What was her name? Fly? And he bites her and then also bites the boss... Because he comes out to break up the fight. And because of that, they, you know, tie him up and keep him away from everybody else. Understandable. They don't want to put him down because he's their prize winning sheep dog that they breed. So, obviously, he's the money maker. Mm-hmm. And they can't snip him because, again, money maker. So, the, the vet is like, oh, okay, we'll just sedate him. And then they, they give him a shot to sedate him. And then that's it. We don't hear about this dog for, you know, for a while. And then he comes up again. I don't know what and supports the pig he supports babe even though he always hated babe what happened where was he in in that in between time right they like kind of like kind of really just glossed over it glossed over it and when he comes yeah when he comes back it's just kind of like oh hey rex is back yeah it, and there wasn't like a like he and and babe Redeeming? have a moment yeah yeah. yeah 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 and he and fly also don't have any type of moment even though she, he bit her and that's Essentially his wife as far as dog <laughs> relationships go. They probably just had like too many characters. No. It's no, because all the other characters, they didn't... There, there's the cow and the horse and the three mice. They don't give any like real character <sighs> development on any of them. They don't. They don't. So they they could have just had a moment where he comes back and they all have an apology whatever because it it literally just seems like they drugged him and once he got off the drugs it made him better but it's not how being sedated would have worked it's like they ignored it it's like they ignored it because they they did sedate him but they just sedated him because he was like hyped up he was like angry or something He was so just jealous said, of the dog. Jealous of the I dog. Mean, of the got pig. sedated, and then he got over it because they needed Rex's help because he uh, Babe was in trouble, right? Like that's how the, that's how Rex came back. Like we need help, Rex, because am I totally off base here? The I don't know. What, are you talking about the ending with just, the hurting the just, hurting competition? I was talking about when Rex finally came back into the Rex picture. Rex came back when when Babe is sick and he has a cold, but he's also not eating because that's after he found out that that's right and he was out there yeah yeah and and then babe's on the couch you know mourning the life of pigs and rex comes up and is like you need to eat or drink something so for the boss i don't know what he says something along the lines you know you got to do this for the boss and then that was his first introduction back into being accepted yeah totally glossed over his whole thing (laughs) <laughs> yeah. And there's also a moment where at the competition where he, Rex, runs over to Fly and they're staring at each other because they're talking about how, you know, what they're going to do because Babe can't, the sheep aren't listening to Babe. And they keep going back and forth between them talking and they're they're like kind of like staring each other down, the two dogs. And it, it could almost look like they're about to fight again. And then the boss is watching them like he's anticipating them fighting again. But then, but then that's it like nothing it was, a, it was just a weird scene to have it wasn't necessary yeah and i, I don't know what they were implying know, yeah. by that back and forth i wish i remember exactly what that scene was but it's when he's talking to her and she's like oh the the sheep aren't listening to babe so i know i know like okay so rex runs out there but they had they look at but he doesn't do anything yeah no he, he runs he no yeah and and he's looking he, but he's watching him like he's anticipating rex to go ahead and attack her again even though there was no, there, there's no real reason for him to suspect that, other than the fact that he, Rex, did attack her beforehand. Yeah. But they're, they didn't look like... They were agitated. Yeah, or yeah, and he didn't look like he was going to attack. He was just running towards her. It didn't look like an aggressive run, though. Like, I don't know. It was just weird. And then they just go into the conversation about her being like, babe needs help. And so, yeah. I don't know. It's still a good movie. Still fun. Still wholesome. Still great, yeah. Family friendly. All right, so let's see... Let's see this trivia here. Because baby pigs grow so fast, 48 pigs were used during filming for the role of Babe. 48 pigs. That is insane. Wow. I also did not know that they grew that fast. Wow. Almost 50 pigs to play one character. I knew I saw a couple scars in the wrong place. (laughs) I'm just kidding. Uh, When James Cornwall was handed the screenplay for Babe, he thumbed through it to see how many lines he had. He saw that he didn't have that many. He had only 170 words of spoken dialogue and 61 words that were 
or sung, so decided that he would do it as a nice, easy film. What he didn't realize was that he would have more screen time in this film than any of his previous films. So he thought it was going to be easy because he wasn't going to have to say a whole lot. So he was like, yeah, cool, this will be an easy gig. And then in reality, he got the most screen time. <laughs> so it was st- it was the most work. <laughs> That's so funny. They're like, lines, lines. <laughs> That's how you gauge the movie. Right. Uh, the Talking Pig is a combination of 48 real Yorkshire pigs plus an animatronic double. A makeup artist added a toupee and eyelashes to each. And computer digitalized manipulated pictures of the snout to make the pig appear to talk. So that toupee was very, very intentional. Yes. Uh, I thought they did a good job with the, the computer mouth. Yeah, I didn't think it was that bad. Yeah. There was some scenes where it was like, oh, it's a little wonky, but, but overall it wasn't it wasn't bad at all. And I think mouths are, right, mouths are like a hard thing to... For humans. Oh, animals, For animals, no. it's a bit easier <laughs> because you can tell that it's an animal. Okay. Well, still, for 1995. It was good? It looked pretty good. Yeah. So much work for this fucking big... Uh, James Carmel was a vegetarian and then decided to become vegan after starring in the movie. Wow. Converted, baby. He got so close to these pigs. He didn't have much further to go, though, if he was already a vegetarian. True. But being here, he was like, oh, not eating eggs anymore or milk. Oh, uh, Magda Sabonski was only in her early 30s when she won the role of Esme Hoggett, so the wife. Right? Uh-huh. And she, who the character was supposed to be elderly, so she was made up to look about 20 years older. I would not have guessed. So right? good on them. Good job. Uh, the film had 56 animal trainers to set on set to handle nearly 1,000 animals. 1,000 animals? That sounds like a nightmare. Who wants to make this movie? You know what I mean? Like, this movie is so much an investment for what? For what? For the wholesome piece of art that we just watched. Oh, wait. Let me rephrase that. Uh, it's like such a high risk. Right, so it's like, oh, I want to make an animal movie. It's like, all right, cool. It's going to cost more than any movie you're ever going to make. It's like, all right, cool. It's like, it may not make money, and you, this may be a disgrace on your resume. It's like, all right, cool. Let's go through with it. it Hire 1,000 animals, dress. please. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's just crazy. I mean, I guess, I don't know. What kid doesn't want to go watch animal movies, though? I mean, it's true. And we don't even need narratives. We have, like, Planet Earth. We're, like, just narrate it to me. Yeah. Narrate what I see. It's like, these are big ones. It's like, mm. Yeah. Like, maybe maybe if this movie had adult themes to it, then maybe it would, it would be a super huge risk. But, like, I don't know. A kid's movie with animals in it? I mean, it is still a higher risk, yes, because a thousand animals. Just a big investment. That's that, all. Yeah. Just a big investment. Yeah. That is insane. Uh, USA pork sales dropped by 20% after the movie came out. Babe saves animal lives sure did uh but how long did that that drop last for because that's what i always think it's like i'm going vegetarian and then a week later you're like yeah but like this is great though right like yeah. who's not gonna eat a philly cheesesteak oh philly cheesesteak <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah yeah so i i want to know how long that 20 percent drop really lasted because come on bacon bacon so i need to say <laughs> there's bacon everything <laughs> soaps Lotions. Oh yeah. Mm, socks, meats, skins. Yeah. Real, not real. So much. Computer chips. <laughs> All right. Uh, one of the reasons why it took George Miller ten years to bring the story to the screen was because he was waiting for special effects technology to cap up, catch up with his vision for the film. I mean, smart. <laughs> I mean, it is smart. I it if is... you know that you can still get the backing to do it. Yeah. Well, how, that's always interesting. You're like, I'm gonna make my movies. Like, All right, cool. When are you gonna make movies? Like, well, my movie, my vision. It's just so advanced that the technology's not ready yet, you know. So we're gonna wait until like the future because my movies, you know, ahead of its time, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> like it's such an interesting, uh, I guess, way like to to say it out loud. If you, it just, is, uh, yeah, yeah. If you <laughs> say it all like that. <laughs> But, uh, neat. I'm glad he waited. Got that mouth, animal, animal mouth talking down. It was worth it. It looked good. Uh, the man who buys three of Fly's puppies is was the head animal trainer on there. His name's Carl Lewis Miller. That's fun. Fun stuff. Super fun. Uh, sometimes considered the film that began the CGI talking animal movie revolution. Only sometimes, though. I wonder what the other movie that's sometimes credited as that. Right? Uh, it was filmed in the southern highlands of New South Wales, Australia, though all vehicles drive on the right side of the road. So, okay, so it was filmed in Australia, but is it still supposed to be 
America? Because, yeah, they're on the right-hand side of the road. See? We were talking about this earlier. I'm like, where is this film set? Like, all the houses look weird. Now we find out it's in Australia. But now they say that they were driving on the right side of the road. So that's what adds to the confusion as you watch it. You're like, where are they? Yeah, they should have just continued where to drive on the side they? of the road. Seems like a weird <laughs> thing to be adamant on changing. I don't know. Yeah. It took 10 years for this movie to come out. Wow, that's some work. Yeah, because I guess a lot of that was that the waiting around though, so the talking animals look good. Uh, the Sheepdog Championship takes place at the Kingsmith Fairground. The electrician whose truck Rex hitches a ride on is named Dick. Near the beginning of the film, the trophy Esme Hoggett polishes is for the Kingsmith District Show. These are tributes to author Dick Kingsmith. That's cute. He wrote fill in information later. Yes, that is what he wrote. Yeah, I hear it's. Uh, well known in the insert information later. Okay, bits done. <laughs> Pre-production lasted eight months. Shooting took six months, and post-production twelve months. It took a year to to do posts. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Just so we can be like, that was cool. That's nice. It looked good though. I say it was worth it. Uh... Uh... Oh, it was released in uh, theaters in 1995, which was also the year of the pig. That's great That's marketing fun. right there. Like, I gotta... wonder if they use that to their advantage. All right. We gotta wait one more, one more year. Not 94, 95. Uh... When James Cromwell is looking into the camera at the end to say, "That'll do, pig." That'll do. He, he said that in the reflection, he saw his father, and in his head while saying the line, he heard his father say, that'll do, Jamie. That'll do. It meant a lot, to, considering that was the first time he'd been through a movie without doubting himself. Nice. That's a little wholesome tidbit. That is. Wholesome stuff. Wasn't there something that came out about him recently, like in the news? Oh, of course. Oh, no. He was, uh, he was arrested for protesting. Oh, wow. How old is that guy? And that was in 2015. Um, he is... He is... 79 years old. So, 79 year old man going to jail for protesting. Well, he wasn't arrested this year. This is from 2015. He's still 70-something years old. Okay, whatever. He was 70-something getting arrested. I would only want to get arrested now. Imagine in a time where you can... You're old and nobody cares about you and you can do whatever you want. Like, nobody's gonna, like, tackle or arrest an old person. If you're not doing something terrible, of course. I'm just saying, like, you can fart and stuff and it's like, yeah, but that's that's old Wesley, you know? That's just who he is. And uh, he's out there protesting, getting arrested for the rights of people that probably aren't born yet. You're assuming what he was protesting for? Let's uh, edit this entire bit out, please. On to the next one. He was protesting against the construction of a power station i take it all back all of it no power stations i was in babe you know any other more bits uh that is that's everything so overall i think babe 1995 uh movie really holds up some of my favorite things were the little toupee of hair that love the toupee he had uh the wholesomeness of the movie entirely like the entire movie um, it was simple. Um, it talks about, you know, being different. Right? What's the message in this movie? Uh, you you can do whatever you want to do. You can do whatever you want. It doesn't matter if you're a certain species. Yeah. Pigs can be sheepdogs. If they want to be. And... You can be a sheepdog if you want to be. And I think things politely is a lot better. Yeah, kill them with kindness. Uh, some things I didn't like. No, it was pretty good. It was, it was good all around. It's, you know, it's a nice movie. It was. It was very nice. Yeah, so I guess that's it. Babe was fun. Gather the whole family. Do the family movie night. Do yourself a favor and watch Babe. You won't regret it. If you do, don't come complaining to us. Because you're a monster and you should enjoy it because it's a beautiful movie. Alright. Alright, so that's it. That's Babe. Great movie. Highly recommended. If you got any suggestions for movies you'd like us to check out, let us know. Email, comment. Like, subscribe, the bell, follow, uh, all of it. Send all us that emails. Stuff, you know. Thank you for listening. See you all next week. Bye. Bye.